Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to come to you. It's been a long time. And in another video, I'll uh, talk about what I've uh, been doing with my hair and why I haven't been on in so long. But today I really wanted to come to you guys to talk about a new product that I got, which I'm really excited to try because I've been following her on YouTube for a really long time. And it's Natural 85's hair products um, called Melanin Hair Care. So I got the Multi-Use Softening Leave-In Conditioner and the Twist Elongating Style Cream and the Multi-Use Pure Oil Blend. And I also got the uh, Melanin Head Wrap, which I'm really excited to use. And just right off, like it's really good quality. It's silky, it's thick, it's long. So you can achieve multiple styles with it. So right off, I really like the fabric of the head wrap. <laughs> Um, looking at the products, like the leave-in conditioner, the smell is really minty. It's really thick, so I'm thinking a little will go a long way. I'm hoping to. <laughs> I want to try um, wash and go with these products because that'll be the ultimate decision maker for me on four type four hair. If you can give me a really good wash and go without having to use gel, then it's good hold. So I'm hoping to achieve that with these products. The twist elongating cream is super thick. Like it doesn't even, it doesn't even shake. It doesn't have a smell. It's almost like a like a a butter instead of a cream. Except for it's like thick and creamy. I don't know. I can't really explain it, but I'm hoping that this will have great hold and give me good definition for twist outs and things like that. And then the pure oil blend. Um, I'm hoping that this will give me, of course, moisture and sheen. My plan is to do the LOC method, liquid oil cream. So I'm going to do water and then apply the oil and then apply the elongating cream. I don't know if I'll add the leave-in condition on top of that just for trying sake, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But um, I will come back to you guys after I've applied the products and my hair will just be in braids because... I'm not going to be wearing my hair out anytime soon. So after I apply these, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just left this one section out so I could show you guys the um, kind of like what I'm doing. So this is my hair dry. Um, I washed it yesterday and I let it dry today so I could apply the products. So this is just my hair dry. So I'm just going to do this last section and show you how I do it. So I'm going to use this spray bottle. I'm looking at the mirror over here so I can see what I'm doing. And then the elongating cream. And you just need a little bit, I realized that. I'm just rubbing it on your hands. And then we're done. Kind of smooth it as I go so that way it won't feel so rough on the ends because I don't comb it again since I've already combed it. Now I'm just breaking it down and braiding it in sections. Like again, again, because I don't feel like I'm gonna wear my hair out at all anytime soon. And then I twist the ends. 
And that's it. So that's the braids that I'm just gonna leave in as a protective style. Like I said, I'm not gonna wear my hair out. Um, so this will be going under my head wrap for the week and some of the other head wraps that I have. So, I don't know how I'm gonna wear this over it. Yeah, okay. So now I'm all set with that part. I'm all braided, I'm all protected underneath. And I put my head wrap on. Ugh, I should have shown you how I did the wrap, but that's okay. Um, the head wrap, like I already said, is really nice and thick. You can do it in many styles. This is the second way I've worn it. The other way was in a bun in the front. So, but the head wrap is really nice. I would definitely recommend the head wrap. Um, first, I'm gonna start with the oil, I think. First with the oil, I really like the top. Like I like that you can screw this extra piece on. It's not that you had to poke a hole in the top or you have to worry about it tipping over and spilling. It's a screw on top. So once you're once you open it, you can just screw the top on. You don't have to worry about spilling it or anything. The oil was really light. Um, it wasn't heavy. And when I put it on my hands and applied it to my hair, it felt like my hair literally just soaked it up instead of it being like this weighted heavy oil on my hair. So I really like that. I did not use the leave-in conditioner. I didn't really have to use it this time for what I was doing. So I didn't use that. So we'll see on, on that one. I'm sure I'm going to like it though. And then for the elongating cream, like I barely dug into it and I finished my whole head. There's barely, I don't even know if you can see, but I barely had to use any of it. So I like that. The whole time on each section, I probably used like maybe this much and I would just like spread it through my fingers and apply it to the whole section and then I would part the section and apply it in the middle of the section. So as far as twisting or braiding your hair for protective styles and using this, this huge jar is going to last a really long time. So I think that's really good. And I felt like when I was braiding my hair, um, it takes my hair a long time to absorb product and moisture, but I felt like by the time I would get to the end, my hair will feel really moisturized and my hands actually felt really moisturized. So I think that's good too, but without it feeling like it's just sitting on my hair. And my hair is, um, I would say definitely type four. Um, I have fine strands, but a lot of fine strands. So I don't feel like I have thick hair, but like I said, it's fine and lots of fine strands. So it's easy to damage and things like that, which is why I'll only detangle once. And then when I apply product, I don't detangle it again. So we'll see how these will hold up throughout the week as far as keeping moisture in, which it shouldn't be an issue since I don't plan on wearing my hair out, but we'll just see how they hold up for the week. But so far, so good. The fragrances are nice. They're not overpowering, but they still smell good. It's more like a minty, natural smell instead of like a flowery smell or something like that. But I really like these so far. So, so far, so good. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you make a decision as to whether you would like to try the products or not. I definitely would recommend them so far. Um, I guess I'll come back and let you guys know throughout the week how it did, if I had to reapply or if I had to re-moisturize or anything like that. I will definitely let you guys know.